Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Do you speak Mandarin? That's right, another Vibor tool. Yay! <laughs> This is one that they said they don't send to reviewers, technically, but I convinced them to send it to us. Because we convinced him to convince them. Yeah, dude. <laughs> because we've made them so much money. You're welcome, Chinese overlords. So, what do we have? Is that our toaster? <laughs> Maybe this is finally Walker's cotton candy machine that we've been wanting to get from Vivor. No, in all reality, I was done getting stuff from Vivor. It's kind of ready to move on to some other things, but we do have a need for one of these. And uh, I was like, well, all right, maybe one last ask to our girl Lynn out there. Let's see what they do. So we said, Lynn, we could really use one of these. What do you think about sending us one? She says, well, it's not normally in our partner program. Because it's good. Because it, maybe it's it. good. They don't need to advertise it. Yeah. But for you guys, we'll make an exception. And she said, and I quote, don't let us down. <laughs> yeah, right. Hey. COVID-23. COVID-23. <laughs> Belt grinder sander user's manual. This brand new belt grinder machine is an ideal machine for stock removal, profiling, handles, and finish work, satin or mirror finish. It is all steel construction and all steel frame is welded at all joints. That makes this sander very solid and precise belt control. That's what I'm after. Besides, it runs smooth and the tracking is very stable, so it will not make a lot of noise. The drive will convert what one phase that? into three phase allows for greater control when doing detail work and reducing heat after blades are heat treated. This grinder has top of the line idlers, wheels, motor and drive. Steve Heinzel! We're on doing our belt sander grinder. We couldn't, I don't know, we just cracked it open. But it is all steel frame is welded at all joints. That makes this sander very solid and precise belt control. <laughs> I think we're gonna need to go ahead and do the full yeah, dude. Disrobe. Two monkeys break into a box. <laughs> oh, it's like basically pre assembled. That's nice. Look at that. One, two, two three. three. Yeah. Breaking. Breaking open plywood the easy way. <laughs> yeah. A little mini crowbar situation. Lost that in the sun for just a second and had like the purest form of panic. <laughs> just like a split second. Man, this thing's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. Inverter. That part's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Parts, parts, parts. There's a roller. Holder for roller. I take the nut all the way off, Tay. Can you uh, get that out of the way? Strength. That looks dangerous. <laughs> I don't think we'll be figuring much out on that one. The biggest made in China thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, I don't know if these instructions are going to be any help. It's literally a single page. So I actually helped my buddy Travis put together a nice Broadback Grinders version of this, which are USA made by somebody named something Broadback. Look them up. So you can either put this one on or this one. So you have a flat platen yeah. or this. Love that. Which do you think we should start with? I mean, I'm most excited about having a truly dialed in 90 
You think this is gonna Finishing? be that? I do, more, more so than that. So this is how you tension the belts. Well, we'll see just how precise the Vivor grinder is. I've got faith. So there are truly no instructions. So this telescopes and locks, and then this gets, you can change this out for this. Right. Which is a narrow one of these. Mm -hmm. Or that, which is a flat platen that goes where this goes. Okay. And so do, is the screw supposed to catch on that flat? Oh, and there needs to be another piece in here. This is a transformer? So we could, we could go from 110 to 220 here. In that, yeah. And then single phase to three phase with that. <laughs> this is kind of sketchy. That's cool to have though. Is there any hardware anywhere? Because yeah, it, it just... doesn't have these quick release guys in the diagram on that, but. I'm more interested in what might go here. Right. It's supposed to be one that locks. Is there an indicator? No, that locks this in. This is all that I found in the name of extra hardware is another crank handle. Hmm. Yeah, we're missing parts. I'll check. So this is a VFD phase converter. It has a very odd plug on it. I guess it goes like Get that. Get in where you fit in. Oh my God. So we couldn't even plug this into our 220 if we wanted to, we'd have to get a adapter. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's, there you go. It's very nicely balanced. That's really true. Nice. So this is Hertz, so frequency, that's the RPM basically how often, how many times a second it's mm -hmm. changing the phase. It's nice and quiet too. Well, for simplicity's sake, maybe let's just put the wheel on for now. Yeah, oh yeah, good point. Let's try yeah, so let's just go those down like that. There you go. Cool, 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 cool. How fun. I'm so distracted by my own fingers. <laughs> Yeah. We may actually want to pop that wheel out this way a little bit. Sure. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Wait, are you nervous? Oh yeah, that'll be perfect. Yeah. Oh, that's nice to have. Woo. Don't lose the temper. <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? Uh, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's the belt. It's a belt grinder. Straight, straight from them. Yeah. Belt grinder. So this is the Vivor two horsepower belt grinder, two by eighty-two inch variable speed belt sander with three grinding wheel bench sander 12 inch wheel and flat platen tool rest for knife making so that that's what this is i mean it seems really I'm well pumped, built. yeah like honestly all these welds look really good everything is really robust it's literally just like an h frame thing like we could make this if i could be real sacrilege this feels every bit as quality as the Bailey system that I have at my shop. Like in yeah. terms of oh, so clearly have... they didn't. No, I don't have a bit my notching system, which is kind of a similar oh, footprint, right. similar like what are they making? What are they just assembling? Well, right. It's a piece of CNC press right. broken, you know, eighth inch steel, three eighths plate and some two by two, some three eighths wall two by two. There's not that much that can go wrong no. as long as your wheels are well machined, which these appear to be. And you can see they have balance, uh, yep. weight balance drill marks in all of them. They're most the ones no, that No, it's very this smooth one. and I'm impressed with it so far. Yeah, so there's we, some interesting things going on on the 
electrical side. Clearly an international market product. To which, to Great. their point, yeah. it can run off of anything you give it. If you can supply it direct 220 to this plug, it'll run fine. If you don't have 220, and it, it's not like they asked me if I did or not, they provide you with this 110 to 220 upvolt transformer. So you just plug this <laughs> with a very international Yeah, anything plug. really. <laughs> <laughs> anything you want, a screwdriver. Some weird European hair dryers, let's try it. I'm pretty sure an American plug would go in there. Looks like it. So then that goes, and then, so this, real quickly, this goes from 110 to 220, all single phase. This goes from 220 single phase to 223 phase, because this motor is a three phase 220 motor. I can't electrically fully define what single and three phase means. I just know that- Three legs. Three, yeah, three, three legs poles. versus one pole. And three phase motors are far more efficient yes. than single phase motors because they don't need a start capacitor. They use the positioning of the phases to kick start it. All brushless RC car motors are actually three phase AC motors. Really? They run off of DC. I had no idea. Via the motor controller. And this is a Chun Tong, baby. Woo, sweet. Dang old Chun Tong. Ain't no tong like a Chun Tong. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm very excited for this. I that. do real quickly want to try this narrow radius roller. I like the little handle on there. That was well thought. That, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Push that down. All right, there's a tension when you let up. Yes. Hey. What's up? One beef, one chicken. Talking about a lunch order. That's gonna be fantastic. I mean, you take man. this off so you can get to it. Well, you can angle it so you can really set whatever you want for sharpening. So like spend the day sharpening drill bits <laughs> oh, yeah. on this thing, because we need it. That's what it's for, you know? Putting a, so you can impart that radius into something or that radius into something. Or we can make more. Then it, we can. And then additionally, you got this nice flexible belt. I love belt. it on back. Crank it up. The it's danger perfect. on this thing is real though. The like, what? Oh the yeah. The danger is this shirt, loose items. Hair. Hair for sure. Sleeves. Yeah. Well, all signs point to yes. Um, this is a big one. Vivor stuck their neck out for us for this machine. Everything looks super well built and we're super excited to use it. The custom affiliate link they made for us in the description below. Uh, you click that. Not only can you buy this, but we get a little kickback from that. And uh, obviously everything that you do to help us, we appreciate. Can't wait to get a mountain. Let's shred it. You'll see this in the background of lots of upcoming videos, I am sure, because uh, it's rad. Well, if you're in the market for a belt grinder, go check this one out. Just go look up vivor.com and type in belt grinder. It's the first one that comes up. I believe they're on sale right now for less than $1,000. Normally they're like 1,300 bucks, which is a steal considering what the rest of them cost. Yeah, no kidding. Bailey version, you know, Edwards version, there'd be thousands of dollars. Oh, yeah for what is probably most same of the same thing. stuff. That's been my daily experiences so far. All the same great benefits without the corporate middleman. Corporate jelly, corporate jelly. <laughs> uh, do I, I have anything that says Vivor on it? <laughs> there we go, careful, careful. Corporate chilling, corporate <laughs> chilling, corporate <laughs> chilling. <laughs> <laughs>
thing is awesome. We've been using it for a few days. We've got this set up on this awesome stand. We built an enclosure for all the electronics. So we have the actual 110 to 220 transformer here. And then this is the VFD phase converter here. So you turn it on with the green button, it spins up. And then you have a knob to control the speed. You let it ramp all the way up. Aaron made a custom Allen wrench tool so we can adjust all of our parts, so that lives here. We have the big wheel and the two small radius rollers down there. It's nicely stored away. We built the storage system for that. But we keep this flat platen here uh, because it's good for most of the stuff we do. And we've calibrated it. Let's see if it's still accurate. Nice and square. Ooh -wee. And we've, we've recapped, this caused us to recalibrate our World War II border caber belt sander over here. So now we have a really nice precision grinding and sanding setup. So really the way we're incorporating it into our shop was you have some rough material removal to do. Use this old porter cable because we throw big 60 grit belts on here and they're wider. And then the ones that came with this were 120, which is finer. It doesn't remove as much material. So you can do like a rough and then a fine. It's great. I mean, we're not knife makers. That's kind of what this thing is aimed at, but it's real easy to forget that this is, you know, a cheaper offshore tool. This feel, everything about it feels really good. And, you know, that Ellis saw that we bought is probably the, the most recent American made tool purchase we've made. And uh, the quality feels the same. I don't know if that's a really good mark on Vivor or a bad mark on Ellis. <laughs> it's a great tool. I couldn't recommend it more. We love it. It is now a staple of our shop. I have no more interest in accepting trade outs from Vivor. So you will see this in the background of many, many uh, more videos. Just like other things we have from Vivor, like the mag drill and the pipe stands. Those pipe stands are really awesome. Here's some footage of us using the pipe stands. Here's Vivor's pipe stand. It's on casters Ooh. too. Look at that. That's a quick deploy right there, Vivor. You can get go up and down and then. That's a pipe stand. <laughs> Thank you, Vivor. <laughs> <laughs> They are surprisingly helpful around the shop when you have something that sticks out past your table and you need it to be supported. Or if you're working on something that's huge, long, and round, you can stick it in the pipe stand. They're adjustable, they roll really smooth, they're really well made. Vivor's kind of got it going on. Mm -hmm. So go check them out, there's a lot of cool stuff. I gotta get back to work, buy one of these. All of our affiliate links are down in the description, so if you want to buy any of the things that you've seen us review from Vivor, that's all I have to say. Goodbye. Subscribe, please. We love you. We'd love you more if you were subscribed. If you're watching this now and you're not subscribed, I know everybody on YouTube says it and you're tired of it, but it makes a big difference because the algorithms are um, mean. They're mean entities. They don't want us to succeed, so prove them wrong. Yeah. Like, subscribe, comment. I love you. We're moving towards love. Don't worry. <laughs> it takes a while to build trust. Bye, Steve.